everybody, my name's Holly Thompson and I've worked at Perth Zoo for 19 years. I was fortunate to start my journey with the small apes in 2003 volunteering with the Silvery Gibbon Project that now comes under the banner of Wildlife Asia. Here at Perth Zoo I'm fortunate to take part in two of the species management programs. One is the endangered Javan Gibbon and the second the critically endangered white cheeked Gibbon both of which we house here at the zoo and both of which we've really worked to safeguard in the wild. Here at Perth Zoo we have two very successful breeding programs. We uh, coordinate these programs of other regions globally and I've been fortunate to travel to the native habitats and work with many colleagues to safeguard these species from the many threats that they face. In 2015, at the second International Gibbon Conference, we were fortunate to join forces with Fauna and Flora International. What came out of this partnership was a conservation initiative amongst zoological parks within Australasia to work in the Pumat National Park in Vietnam with FFI to safeguard the white cheek gibbon and so many other species that call this habitat home. Since that time, we've got four more zoos on board and a fantastic project is underway to assist our partner, FFI, with this very important project. What I love about these small apes is their monogamy, as we know, that is uh, getting a little bit frisky. Uh, nowadays, we're finding out a lot more to do about this species. And also, I felt very, very fortunate to be able to support the Javan Gibbon Center uh, through our partner in uh, Java in Indonesia. So the Javan Gibbon, we're seeing it on the rise that this species, like so many, are very rife on the pet trade. Uh, and it's very concerning, the amount of social media mean, means and avenues that are used to be able to get Get these animals and purchase as pets is extremely alarming and something that many of our, our conservation partners are working on around the world. I've also been fortunate to hear the white cheek gibbons with our partner Fauna and Flora International in the wild. I didn't see them but it was fantastic just to be able to hear them. I feel that working in a zoo you have to have that authenticity when it comes to working with such amazing charismatic animals. Every animal needs a voice and I feel that here at Perth Zoo I've been given that voice to try and help these animals in their native habitat of Java and Vietnam specifically. So on International Gibbon Day, thank you for letting me say something about these amazing apes. Uh, and I look forward to joining so many uh, passionate people on this day to celebrate what a gibbon is, because it's not a monkey. Thank you.